Hi folks, today I'm bringing you an exclusive look at one of the new characters coming to the multi-award winning game Moonstone when the Kickstarter launches on the 10th of October. The Kickstarter is launching a brand new faction to the game known as the Shades of Moonreach which sees the undead being unleashed into the lands of Tauba. This is Abra Cadaverous, a spirit creature of the Deadlands. His purpose in life is to collect body parts to repair injuries and patch up the dead, but as a hobby he loves to fashion new creations with special functions to best serve the spirits of the departed. These creations are known as psychopomps. When King Chernet was released from the Deadlands, a whole host of strange creatures such as Abracadavarus have managed to find their way up into the Livelands, where they continue to go about their usual tasks. Let's start by taking a look at the model and we can see just how this undead faction are going to look. Whilst very in keeping with the whimsical world of Moonstone, there is definitely a more sinister edge to Abracadaverus. His sack full of body parts definitely hints at what his plans are, and his staff, ending with some kind of bird slash fist creation, is fantastical and creepy in equal measure. Abra himself seems to be some kind of part bird, part goblin hybrid, and certainly isn't someone you'd want to meet down a dark alleyway. Taking a look at his stat card, we can see just how his abilities live up to his image. With the spirit keyword, he has an impressive melee stat of 4, with a nice 2 inch range. He also brings a more than average 5 arcane stat, however does give his opponents a plus 1 when trying to evade their attacks. He has a not too shabby 10 points of health, however with only 2 points of energy, you're going to have to be very efficient in how you use them. On the plus side, he does have to take 7 damage before he loses access to those energy tokens, so it's not all bad news. His passive abilities are Close and Stick, and More Spares for me. Close and Stick sees him dealing an extra point of damage if he deals a slicing or impact attack, which is nice with his 2 inch range. More Spares for me means if a friendly character is slain on the battlefield, Abra may move 2 inches directly towards this fallen friend before the model is removed. Very handy for getting around and also picking up those spare parts he likes to carry around with him. Speaking of spare parts, that's the name of his first arcane ability. Costing 2 energy to use, but having a nice range of 4 inches, you can heal up one of your friendly undead companions equal to the number on that green arcane deck card. However, should you get it catastrophically wrong, you're going to be taking 3 damage yourself. Now should you lose some of your friends before you get to heal them, you can always use his second arcane ability, Reanimate, to bring them back to life. Costing a not insignificant 3 energy, especially as he only brings 2 energy per round, you may place a friendly slain model in base contact with you, heal them back up to half of their health, and then it may activate this same turn. Sadly though, starting with 0 energy, well you can't have everything can you? Should this dark art of reanimation go catastrophically wrong, then sadly you'll be taking a whopping 4 damage yourself, so maybe don't get it wrong? Abra also has a rather nifty signature move when using a falling swing in melee combat called Fashion from Flesh. If this magical damage attack successfully deals damage to your enemy and the character was not slain, you may summon one of those friendly psycho pump creations I told you about earlier. If your attack does cause your enemy to be slain and you're still standing tall, then you may instead use one of your arcane abilities without spending any energy. Perfect for bringing back your gone but not forgotten friends with reanimate. This feels like a fun character to use, you're going to have to throw him into some well chosen fights to really get the best out of him, but with healing, reanimating and summoning abilities, the risk will be worth the reward. On the subject of summoning, you'll want to know what these psycho pumps are right? Well, luckily I'm here to reveal that to you too. I bring you the small but not insignificant Lumpy Darkson, summoned Psycho Pomp and familiar of Abracadaverus. With a melee of just 1 and a range of 1 inch, he's not really built for fighting, but with an average arcane of 3 and a minus 1 when evading, he may be a little harder to hit. He does only have 2 health and doesn't bring any energy with him, so you might be wondering, well what does he do? His passive abilities are Psycho Pomp, Summoner's Delight, Feeble and Lantern. Psycho Pomp means he can only enter play when summoned, it does not activate and can never gain energy, which seems very strange. However, when the character who summoned Lampy is active, in this case Abracadaverus, this character may take actions, including Jog, 
by discarding the required energy from its summoning character's pool. Remember when I said you need to be efficient with Abra's energy pool? This is why. Summoner's Delight simply means that if the summoning character is slain, then this model goes bye bye and is considered slain too. Feeble means that any melee damage that Lumpy deals is reduced by minus two and any harvest actions cost an extra plus one energy. So where's the upside I hear you ask? Well, Lantern means that enemy models within four inches of him gain plus one to their evade stat, which should help out a little. His sole arcane attack is Blinding Light, which costs one energy to use, but has a six inch range and can only be used once per turn. If he successfully manages to trigger this ability, he can give a target model minus one to their arcane stat, which would definitely help out Abra a bit. But if it all goes terribly wrong, then he loses his lantern ability until the end of the turn. Lights out for Lampier. Eh? So there you have it, two beautiful new sculpts and two very interesting stat lines to share with you and get you ready for when the Shades of Moonreach come down upon you. Don't forget the Kickstarter goes live on October the 10th. I'll add a link to the campaign in the comments when it's available. And in the meantime, you can check out some of the other fantastic channels that have teased out these new shade characters by taking a look on Goblin King Games socials. Thanks for watching and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Moonstone in the future. Happy harvesting!